Hi and welcome back. In my last couple of videos uh, I uploaded, I've been messing around with a bit of um, like foundry work um, using a small furnace and also a heat treat oven to melt metal. Uh, it seems as though some of the people or some of you guys are interested in the burner. So I thought I'd um, break the burner down and explain how I made my burner. I mean there's loads of different designs but this is just a design what I picked off the net. So what we've got here, we've got an adjustable regulator for regulating the gas flow. Um, this isn't restricted, um, a barbecue regulator is restricted, but this will just go right up, um, you know, 30, 40 PSI, but we're never going to run at that high. Um, I've been running at around 20 PSI, and that gives me, you know, more than enough heat for the small coffee can furnace I've been using. And then what we've got on the other end, I've just taken this to bits just to explain. Uh, these are all quarter inch BSP fittings. Uh, we've got a proper gas pipe coming in and then the first fitting is a tail, quarter inch tail, uh, male. And then we've got a quarter inch ball um, valve um, and that's female, female. Then we've got a quarter inch nipple and that's uh, male to male. And then we've got an end cap, which is just like to say another quarter inch with a small hole drilled straight in the middle, uh, one millimetre diameter. And that's all put together with tape. You can't use PTFE tape with gas. You have to use the yellow stuff. So these joints are all got tape around them and uh, obviously to seal the gas, uh, get, you know, give a good seal on those fittings. So that's that end of it. That then goes into here and this grips it on the end like so and all I've done is drill, uh, drill four holes opposing, you know, they're all opposing each other and then stepped two of them back to the other two so that then gives me some adjustment to adjust to make sure that the gas flow is going straight down the middle of the pipe so we'll just put this back together uh, that one So that's now screwed into there and we'll see what the gas flow is like when we when we light the burner and you can see how it's held in there with those screws. So next is a um, three, quarter, three quarter inch pipe and this is 200 mils long. And then on the coffee can burner which I'll just grab How the burner goes into here is um, just straight through this hole here. So we go in at an angle, and then when the flame is lit, the burner's lit, the um, flame will fly around and give you a swirling effect. So that way we'll get equal heat around the outside of the crucible. And that's plenty enough heat um, to power this burn, you know, this um, furnace. Then when I move on to a bigger furnace, this will still be okay. And then we'll use what they call flares. So we'll either have something like this on the end or the um, inch and a half one, like so. So we don't know yet how that's gonna work. We'll have to wait until we build that furnace and then do a bit of um, trial fit. But I'll put this one on for now. Just tighten that up, don't need to be over tight. So I'll get this connected back up to, I'll get the regulator connected up to the gas bottle and then we'll light this up and uh, you can see it, you know, see how powerful that flame is. So that's the burner all ready now to ignite. We've got the gas turned on, we've got it uh, set to 20 psi. So we'll just let some gas out and we'll light it. Turn the gas up to full.
so yeah that's my burner um, very cheap to make um, and works really well and chucks out a lot of heat so what I'll do is I'll um, take the end off this flare off and I'll just put it in the coffee can in this one and um, I'll just show you how that works when that's actually running in the furnace So yeah, so that's just a small video, just a short video of uh, my burner and just my little coffee can furnace. So uh, now that's gives some people who have asked those questions some insight in how it's made and uh, what components are used. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.